Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to hop on and do a quick unboxing of this uh, coach bag that I purchased from Poshmark. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary center handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, so like I said, this is a coach item that I purchased from Poshmark for around $60. It is a tote, so I'm a little bit concerned about how it's packed. It kind of looks like it's going to be folded in on itself. Uh, so let me just open it up and see. Okay, so I've gotten it opened up. There's just some air paper, um, a thank you note on what looks like a, um, a notepad that was stolen from a hotel, which is kind of funny. Um, no shame there. I also steal things from hotels. Uh, opening it up. It is packaged nicely, like there's tissue paper and everything, which I appreciate. And it actually isn't folded on itself. That's so exciting. Um, so this is a Coach Taylor tote in a beautiful oxblood color. Uh, as I'm feeling it right now, the leather is super soft. It does have this extra tassel, which I believe is not a Coach tassel. It's probably just added from like Amazon or something, because I don't see like a Coach name written on it or anything um but it is a super soft bag uh it looks kind of nice and worn in um so it looks like it'll be comfortable to carry around looking on the inside it looks pretty clean uh you see coach written there on the lining uh, maybe in this back zip pocket. Yeah, this is a super clean bag. Oh, this is so exciting. Uh, it's in great condition. It smells like leather. Like, you can smell the niceness of the leather. Looks nice and clean down in there. Um, it is a little bit floppy, um, so I am probably going to see if I can fit an organizer in here or something. But this is like a, a, a kind of an awkward size of tote, to be honest. And I wasn't necessarily completely sure if I would um, want a tote this size, but I thought I'd try it out for, you know, for the price that I got it for. It has this front slip pocket, but essentially I wanted this for, um, like, days when we're going to be out of the house for a little bit longer. I thought it had a nice long shoulder, sh shoulder drop, uh, strap drop, sorry, um, and would be a great bag to carry around if we're going to, like, the outlets or something for a long time. I can carry a water bottle in here as well as all of my SLGs, maybe even some snacks for us or an umbrella, uh, but it's not so big that it kind of feels overwhelming. Uh, I don't think it's large enough to carry my 14-inch laptop, uh, but that is something I will try maybe in a different video. Um, but it is just kind of a nice, soft, uh, little tote. Um, so just giving you maybe a little bit better of a tour of the bag. Like I said, you have this front pocket, and it, that front pocket is secured with a turn lock. So if you were traveling somewhere, um, you know, walking around a city or something and wanted to secure maybe your wallet in, in this front pocket for both easy access as well as security, you could totally do that with that turn lock. You have the nice gold hardware here. Um, just kind of a normal coach hang tag. It's not a 1941 bag or anything like that. Like I said, it came with this tassel. I'm not sure if this is a coach tassel or not. The hardware does kind of match really well, so I kind of wonder. But like I said, I don't see coach written anywhere on it. Uh, the There's a really long shoulder strap drop. No pockets on the back or anything. Um, so, you know, very simple back on the back. The bottom has... Uh, a little bit of a folded edge but not as sharp as some other bags and then you have like a different piece of leather on the bottom here to form the base of the bag. You see there's black glazing kind of all along the bag uh, on the edges um, but the glazing does look like it's in great condition. The bag is really soft. I know I keep saying that but I'm just surprised at how soft it is. It feels very comfy, very smushy. Um, for uh, you know bags like this where the shoulder strap is not on a D-ring. It's just kind of a, you know, sewn on like that. You will always expect to get a lot of wrinkles right there. And that is also where you might see a lot of wear and tear. Um, this bag looks like it's been hardly used, so I don't see a bunch of wear and tear right there. Uh, but I think eventually you would certainly start to see maybe some glazing issues or fraying um, along there if you did kind of flop those handles back and forth a lot. Uh, one thing I did notice right here, you can see there's a little bit of a discoloration I think in the leather it's not uh, it's hardly noticeable so I'm not super worried about it uh, and then the hardware does have 
some pretty deep scratches. Um, I'm not sure if I care about that because hardware does get scratched. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. That's a pretty deep nick right there. I don't know if it's, will it come off? Unclear. On the back, uh, again, not any kind of substantial wear and tear on those straps. Uh, looking at the edge of the zipper, I don't see any issues there. You do have this overlapping edge. It's not like folded in on itself. Um, this edge looks fine as well. You do see a little bit of glue down in there maybe, which is fine. Um, the corners, well actually that corner does look like it has a lot of discoloration. Um, and yeah, there's more discoloration on the bottom here. I'm not sure that was disclosed in the listing. So now I'm starting to feel less good about this bag. You see there's like a scratch there. More discoloration. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, so that went from being a positive unboxing to a negative one relatively quickly. Uh, so I think I will be opening a case on Poshmark to try to get this returned. Like I said, I did spend $60, and I think if I was going to spend $60 on a beater bag or a large bag where I, you know, thought I would carry it around the mall or something, I'd rather buy a new one from Fossil than to accept, um, you know, pretty substantial corner wear already. Um, where was the bad corner? This corner is pretty bad. I mean, that's like pretty bad, right? Uh, so I don't think I'm going to keep this bag. And then, of course, the undisclosed issues with the hardware as well. That's a bummer, um, but it is a beautiful bag. It looks like it would be a good size for kind of what I was looking for, that kind of uh, larger errands or like going out bag. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and I will see you next time. Bye.